Say rolling around, sitting on doves, can't lie, I was high on shrubs. So let's talk back to another video. I'm Strange Wayne. He is Nate. And it's cold as fuck where we're at, despite me wearing a shirt that's unbuttoned that says Florida on it. It's cold as fuck. So today we are going through the annals of history and time to look at the best movie quotes, not quotes, coats, bars in the history of film coming from Esquire. I don't know if they know much about movies, but that's what the website is. But he's going to tell you about our social media where you can find it right now. It's true. If you scroll down to the description box below, pop it open, you'll find links to our social media accounts. We also have links to our coffee account and our Patreon account. So if you'd like to help our channel grow financially, then please click on one of those. If you don't want to help our channel grow financially, then subscribe because it's free. We also got a TikTok. Click on that. But first, the most iconic movie coat and eh, I don't know about that in history their number one is Steve Buscemi's coat from Fargo huh great coat it is a great coat it's a very good coat number one huh so something I want to add would you wear this or not I would definitely wear this yeah I'd wear that number one though yeah I mean I think the fur it's there's nothing like too crazy to it but yeah it's, it's a classy looking jacket yeah I mean I won't wear his because it's got blood all over it yeah, right this, this is number two is a bit more appropriate. You got mm. James Dean's fucking red jacket from Rebel Without a Cause. Yeah. I'm going to wear that. Uh, it's, it's too red. Yeah. I get the iconicness of it, mm -hmm. but well, it pops way too much for me. Yeah, it looks great on film. Yeah. Like for a character you want to draw an audience's eye to, it's a wonderful wardrobe choice. But yeah, it's a little too bright for me. Number three, we got Daniel Craig's coat from Spectre. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's just... I don't, like, I don't know if that's iconic. Yeah. I feel like I could, you know, go walk through New York City or London right now and see yeah. a thousand people wearing basically that coat. And get that motherfucker at Barnes & Noble. No, that's a bookstore, isn't that's it? That's a bookstore. What was yeah. it fucking Noble? Did you, you mean, like, Ross? Or no. Nah. Where we got our... Brooks and... Where, where do we get our tux from uh, Chris's Like wedding? a men's warehouse? Yeah, get that shit from a men's <laughs> warehouse, sorry. I get this one. Yeah. Number four, the Nero's uh, army jacket from Taxi Driver. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't wear that, but for that character yeah. and the iconicness of it, perfect. Yeah. I also would not wear it. Uh, it's just, it's not my style. But at least it hits the mark for being like yeah. a somewhat iconic movie jacket. I don't really think about the jacket when I think about Taxi Driver. I think more of like the hair, but. If I'm like picking something about his physical appearance, but yeah. still a good jacket. I can see wearing that mohawk though. <laughs> Next, obviously, I'm surprised it's not higher. Mm -hmm. Harrison Ford's leather jacket, Raiders of the Lost Ark. I would definitely wear that. Yeah, I would wear that all day, every day. Like, like it's, it's, it's nice and beat up, but not mm -hmm. too shredded. Yeah, no, great jacket. Yeah. Probably, probably will be my most favorite jacket on this list. Yeah, probably so. Next, number six, Bogart's trench coat, Casablanca. It's iconic, yeah. but same thing with Spectre. Yeah. I feel like trench coats had, like, a bad rap for, like, a decade or so. Yeah. And then I think they're, like, coming back a little bit now. These are tan trench coats, so they're, they're okay. The black trench coats, black leather trench coats, no good. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it is classic. You know, Casablanca is a classic in it of itself. That jacket looks great on Humphrey Bogart, but I don't know. I don't think I, like, trench yeah, coats just aren't for me. I don't think I could. My, I, my hair is too long. Yeah. I don't think the hair would work. Next. This makes sense. Yeah. Ryan Gosling's satin bomber jacket from Drive. You got the big scorpion on the back. I like the way it's, like, threaded together mm -hmm. with the diamonds. Yeah. I would wear it. I would rather not have the scorpion on yeah, the back. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. Uh, and I don't know if I would replace it with something else or if I would prefer it. I think I'd just prefer it to not have any graphic on it. Like but bomber jackets are dope. It's still a great jacket. And then yeah. when you add the satin onto it, yeah. it makes it a bit fancier. And it's like, okay. And then we got Joe Nelson's uh, denim jacket, The Breakfast Club. I'm not big on uh, Canadian tuxedos. Hmm. Probably wouldn't wear this because you personally, I think you got to have the denim match it. Yeah. I know a lot of people, they don't give a fuck, and they just, like, mix up the denims. Not me. I wouldn't wear those. Uh, I don't think I would wear it with jeans. Um, 
because of that same thing. Like, because I agree with what you're saying. If the denim doesn't, you know, it, you don't, or like, at least if it was like really, really light blue jeans with the darker jacket, I might could do that. Uh, but I'm not a huge denim jacket fan. You own a denim coat. The best. It, it's just brown denim. I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. I forgot all about that joker. But I want a Carhartt denim vest. Oh, okay. I want a little scruffy up denim vest. Mm. But I never wore them because I was like, yeah, what the fuck? Why did I buy these? Yeah. One, I didn't buy it. It was just, it just had it. But for the character, perfect. You want to make somebody look kind of like scummy and like this guy might steal my car? Throw a fucking plaid shirt on him and fucking. With a jean coat? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know if it makes him look scummy. Just with the ripped re jeans. Just rebellious. With the ripped jeans. Yeah. Perfect for the character. Next, we got Brando, the leather biker jacket and the wild ones. Honestly, me mm -hmm. personally, I, if I, you gotta go with a leather jacket, you gotta go Terminator. Me personally. They're very similar anyways. Yeah. But when I think of someone wearing a leather jacket, I think of Arnold. I don't think of Brando. I think I could pull that one off better than I think I could pull off Arnold's personally. But they're both great. I mean, black leather. Yeah, but, a, like a black leather jacket was just a badass jacket. But then everyone's gonna call you fucking Johnny because it stitched into your shoulder. Well, I wasn't gonna say that. I don't love that part there, but like, who the fuck's Johnny? My grandpa. Your grandpa likes saying Johnny. Yeah. Holy I, shit! I still have his Food Lion name tag. Says Johnny. Oh, nice. Yeah. He reads better than I do, so he's gonna pronounce this one. Uh, Phil Daniels Fishtail Parka from Quadrophenia. That's what I was thinking of. I like the jacket. I don't. I never heard of that movie. I don't know the significance of it. Mm. That's like a nice like raincoat. I like olive greens. That's a solid olive green jacket. Yeah. It just. I don't like how poofy it is. Yeah. It's not for me. What is that movie about? No clue. Never heard of it. What's to read? Da, 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 da. Post World War going style. Us the rocker. Seems like something you would like. It's a British movie. Hmm. Another British movie. Another bomber jacket also. Ian McGregor's and Train Spotting. It's just a brown bomber jacket. Yeah. What's so special about that? Right. And also, like, uh, th this jacket just disgusts me. Not because of what it is, but just because of all the nasty ass places that that jacket goes in this movie. Yeah. Uh, so I have a hard time looking at that jacket and not just being like. Bleh. <laughs> like it probably smells awful. Oh, yeah. Like and even before the the worst bathroom in whatever scene, like that jacket probably smells terrible. Yeah. And there's nothing special. Like when I think about that movie, that's like one of the last things I think of. Yeah. If I think of it. I've never thought of that jacket as an iconic movie jacket. It's mm -hmm. just a jacket. Neither have I. Next, this should be higher. Brad Pitt's leather jacket from Fight Club. Yeah. I'll wear this all day, every day. Mm -hmm. It's not bright red. But it's not like a dark, dark red either. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Yeah. He's wearing a button up shirt. I'm wearing a button up shirt. There's red on it. It would go in my outfit right now. It would, yeah. It's a much more like earthy red. Uh, and I appreciate that. Like I would, a clay. Yeah. I don't think, like, I wouldn't wear it often, I don't think, but I would love to have it in the closet to like bust it out for a special occasion. Yeah, that's shit, John Blaze. And that's all of their iconic movie jackets and movie history. Number one, we didn't agree with. I'm assuming yours is gonna be Indiana. Yeah, the Indiana Jones leather jacket. I mean, no matter whose list we look at, yeah. it's probably always gonna be my first pick. But this list also, like Esquire, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. This yeah. list was trash. Is there any they left off that you think? Um, off the top. I mean, if you gave me time to think of it, I could probably think of some, but I don't have any on top of my head. Right. But to me, I mean, shoot. The like the snow parkas from like fucking the thing are more iconic than some of the jackets on true. this list. So that is very true. Yeah. And then add any women, which oh there's must be some like iconic jackets for women. Another thing I thought of mm -hmm. the Terminator coat. Yeah. They left that off for me personally. I could do it without Brando. Yeah, that's really interesting that they did not put the Terminator yeah. jacket on. I would wear the fuck out of Steve Buscemi, so. Yeah, those are cool. That's, that's probably my number one would wear. I don't know. If Brad, uh, yeah, probably that one. The Fight Club. Tell us down below in the comment section, what did you think about this movie list from 
Esquire, but would you wear any of these coats? What's your favorite movie coat? What did they leave off? Tell us in the comment section, scroll back up to the like button, share the video, subscribe. It's not a game, it's a red